So you try to install your Windows 8 CD or DVD on your laptop or on your computer and you get a message after you booted saying your computer is not able to run Windows 8 and you're like, ah, oh, I have to buy a new computer. Well, you must think of buying a new computer because if the computer cannot run uh, Windows 8 out of itself and you have to do some tricks like what I'm gonna teach you now, then you know you should consider buying a new computer if you want to run Windows 8 in the future. Not that Windows 8 is heavier than Windows 7 because if your computer can run Windows 7 then um, technically it should be able to run Windows 8 only uh, after the uh, what was it the, the consumer um, preview after the consumer preview um, the processor um, support uh, got less for them old processors such as the Pentium 4 uh, CD-ROM you know them older processors Pentium M processors and you know these uh, devices could not install Windows 8 anymore so at least they can but not in the normal way because I'm gonna show you now how you can still install at least your computer must have some requirements and don't do this on just like me on a sailor run with 1500 megahertz or 1400 megahertz and 512 megabyte RAM you know you can do it if you have one gigabyte of RAM you know with that same 1400 megahertz it should be running a little bit better you know the browser etc that should go a little faster because at a certain moment the thing just stops up you know it runs the consumer preview in a perfect way you could see that in my videos so you think windows 8 is bad you know and windows 8 is it's not bad yo it's, it's not bad you know the problem with windows 8 is no it's, there's no problem with windows 8 the problem with the audience the customers you and me is that we all got confused when Microsoft start promoting Windows 8 with the Metro screen you know and we were like oh well, what is that thing we want our desktop you know because we all are like old schoolers and you know old schoolers they have their own way of thinking and they don't want things to change because updating your computer is way easier than updating your mind right but then again i must show you my dear lovely friends boys and girls up there if you have windows 8 you don't have to really use this part you don't have to i mean it's nice if you want to use it if you use the apps i mean i know many young young youth sitting out there with their tablets and they love this metro 8 thing and they are newcomers and they are the customers of tomorrow and Microsoft promoted this Metro screen even more than our hopes. Oh, look what I'm doing. That was not the meaning. I will just, let's go back to the desktop. You see how easy I go back to the desktop. And if I just hover here, then I right mouse click, then I can say close. Windows 8 is really easy to work with. You, you must not be scared for Windows 8. Don't think there are abacadabra hidden things there spying on you. Yes, um, these apps, they might. And Microsoft also says it in, in, in the... You must read the regulations. If you don't want to read them, you can look in my list. I have, you know, the thing in audio so you can listen to it. But programs such as, um, like this thing here, this news app, you know you can you can uninstall it you know no no need to have it at least I, do, I don't need it you you should keep it of course what am I saying I'm not saying you guys should remove all these apps I'm just saying that these apps are connected to other servers some of them and you know they might use your processor and your strength of your computer in a different way than you want to so that's why I say why am I saying this all because you know I'm just letting you see that there are certain things that you will have to do if you install Windows 8 on an old computer for instance the moment you installed Windows 8 on your old laptop the one that you will uh, install Windows 8 on the way I will show you how to do it then you will see that if you go to um, 
to settings here then you can go to uh, advanced system settings really important and then you go to performance here in the tab advanced and you go to settings and you say adjust for best performance and then you hit apply this is also for 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 faster laptops they will run just much faster you know because of the no, no. you will see when you try it out okay now i will show you how to install windows 8 on a not supported laptop or computer if you open the folder this might be the dvd or this or the usb bootable disk what you whatever you have or a folder on your c drive that you might run the setup from the from off the folder you know um this you can only do from out windows 7 or maybe the consumer version that did run on your on your old laptop so you can only do it from out there so you cannot boot up with the cd because if you boot up with the cd then it will use this setup exe file and this setup exe file will check your pc if your processor has all the requirements to run windows 8 clear okay so we don't look and we don't touch this setup at all we go to sources and up here we just type setup i already typed it before and in sources you will find a, 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 a exe file called setup just run this setup from out your windows 7 or windows 8 and the files will be copied to your computer and you will be able to insert the serial number that is on the box written on the box of the cd that you bought and you will be able to upgrade to a higher version of windows this is how to do it and this is the only way how you can um, yeah do it the normal way normal people the easy way so you know i hope you learned something about it really uh, windows 8 is really good all these people saying windows 8 is bad is because um, these people they just didn't want to try it they just hated the first thing they saw and that was the metro screen but i'm gonna tell you one more time my friends windows 8 is nothing more than an upgraded windows 7 with the possibility to run mobile apps and why did microsoft do this well because mobile apps is all what it's about these days on your phone you have these mobile apps and maybe you're using some mobile apps such as mobile VoIP. you know mobile VoIP is also there in the windows store tune in radio the one you listen i listen my reggae to way back with the aqua 7 for those that still remember my videos from two years ago or last year you know I mean they are all there you know all these programs are in the app store and windows 8 is really nice and if you don't want to use the metro if you're like i'm gonna uninstall everything in here you know let's say you uninstall everything you know except for explorer you can also uninstall explorer as you can see but then yeah i don't know i i don't know why i should do that it's not no need if you have maybe an old computer you can try to uninstall it and hope that the other browser you know will do it even better for you maybe a lighter browser you know something as um, um, I'm gonna make a review about that because I found a very nice light browser uh, at, 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 at Vent. I forgot the name Avant, Avant browser Avant browser it's only four megabytes big eh? You can choose out of the light or the heavy packets. Oh, sorry for that. <laughs> you have the uh, you have the package from uh, 44 megabyte. That one has all the uh, that has the how you call it the build and feel of um, and and the technology of Firefox and Chrome. You know Google Chrome. But you can also take the standard 4 megabyte uh, file, and that will play everything for you. It will open like a charm. It will be really fast, faster than any browser I tested until now on Windows 8. What more is good about Windows 8? You can run all sorts of old programs on Windows 8. All your old apps will work, even apps that I use in Windows 3.1. I don't know how they did it. What is even more greater about Windows 8 is your drivers. When you installed Windows 8 and you have no sound, then my friend you can go let me show you real fast because this computer is a little bit faster than the one i was using the other day and i could not really show you guys 
too many things device manager wasn't opening because i was recording remember on the old uh, pentium 4 but here you can see we're doing the same again and this is an intel dual processor uh, 2.16 gigahertz per processor this, that's really good um uh, that's two processors um the drivers were all supported because this is the acer e-machine e720 but my friends if you have an old laptop such as the dell 5150 or maybe the 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 the, the travel mate uh, 2170 60 then you can uh, just download the windows xp drivers and don't run the setup of the drivers no i will teach you guys how to install a driver because many of you guys don't know how to install a driver eh? for instance let's say you had a uh, uh, Let's say uh, this driver here, let's, uh, find the driver, duh, 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 duh. let's say you had an, uh, uh, not a question mark, but this, this other one, you know, how you call that, a warning mark, saying this driver is not installed and your sound is not working. Then um, you just hit the driver like this. We cannot do it now because the driver is already installed, but then you go to update driver and the folder the the file that you will download yeah will most of the times be a zip file of your driver you unzip it and you put the folder on your desktop called audio and then you just browse to that folder don't go in that folder and run the setup because the setup was made for windows xp and then you must change the compatibility things first before running that setup otherwise you will get an error saying this driver is not good and blah 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 blah, blah. that while the driver is good you must just go to update driver yeah you go to where you see the warning mark you hit update browse my computer for driver browse to the dan folder wherever you have this driver you know let's say the driver is called android just select android and hit ok and then you will see installing driver you will be like abacadabra i did it yep windows xp drivers running on the windows 8 yo guys don't complain about windows 8 I did it I was a hater when I tell you something is good you can trust me it's good when I say it's not good sometimes I can also be confused or maybe I have something against the company that I just hate them just like Samsung I hate all Samsung phones you know why not because Samsung is not good because Samsung wants to conquer the whole world and they want to kill all all other phone makers you know and they are supported by Google, King Google. You know, Google and Samsung are good friends, you know, because Samsung is doing good, so Google is doing good. But then again, I think that Google should sharpen the rules for Samsung because my friends of HTC, you know, they are dying out there. My friends from uh, Sony Ericsson, same thing. Nokia, same thing. Microsoft phone, same thing. And not because these phones are not good, they are all good. Such as I show you, Windows 8 is very good. Such as my Mac is also very good. Just like my Linux is very good. They are all good. My iPad is very good and my Android devices, I love it. They are all good. They all have their little bugs and their little things that, you know, we have to get used to. But if you're always, always eating chicken and then I one day give you some meat to eat, some nice meat. You know, with garlic and with pepper and with, you know, nice, tasty. You know, you might also like it. But you have some dumbos out there that are like, No, I don't want to, I only eat potato, I don't want rice. Because rice, I hate rice. Out of nothing. You know? So, what I'm saying is, guys, try out Windows 8. Install it on your computer. Go play with it. You know, and... If you still have your, um, if you still have the possibility to try it out, try it out. You know, just go to Microsoft and see if they still have a test build there that you can download. I I I, I doubt that the I think the developers uh, edition, the enterprise is not there anymore for download. You should uh, at least check Microsoft. But I think there should be a, a 90 day version somewhere that you could download and try out. Windows 8 is really nice. You will love it. 
and I must say uh, thank you for watching now you know how to install Windows 8 on a computer and you know a lot more for my tablet users one more little thing my tablet users have problems here with uh, this little caption mark let me show you how to make that bigger just go to display here at the side and then you make the tie you see the title bar it's already selected you just make it 24 and then you say apply and then you will see that this just got bigger you see that and now you can really easily touch it that is really too small also I think Microsoft guys this is for you guys these things here they are the same as Windows 7 and they are still really small to touch and if we say medium screen then we might get that that that, that, that uh, the things will not fit on our little tablet anymore our 10 inch tablet so I want you guys to in the future here just make them round buttons control panel another round button just resolution another round button instead of using text use uh, use icons in here you know that would really make it nice you know I wish I, I could <laughs> give some I think I'm gonna make a model of how I want this to look you know because these things can still be changed this is too small if you have to touch this with your fingers it's too small eh? but I have no I have no complaints or whatsoever also the driver for the few sonic tablet this one here it's also uh, you know it's also running Windows 8 I'm testing it and uh, as you know uh, I will have to do the hack to let um, oops sorry for that I will have to do the hack to let the apps work because the apps they don't work now you see that apps don't work and to do the hack you will have to watch my other video how to make uh, the apps work on not supported uh, screens okay enough spoken more than enough spoken I want to wish you all a very nice Sunday don't let nobody stress you and if the stress comes your way just just kick it out of your life till my next video and uh, thank you for watching oh yeah subscribe and rate this video thumbs up because this is the only way how you can install Windows 8 on a not supported laptop or computer.